What's up, people? The faithful. All right, I got one for you today. Uh, wasn't sure if I was going to do it or not, but it was suggested by a faithful to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, the video that I'm going to do was brought to my attention by my son over at My Sweet Addiction. Go to that channel, check him out. He's only got four subscribers. He's trying to build. Help him out, guys. <clears throat> We're gonna do multi-tools today. And the one he turned me on to is actually pretty neat. It caught my eye, so I had to do it. Let me get it set up, and we'll get it started. Okay, we're gonna review six different ones. Actually, we're just gonna review one, but we're gonna show you a couple other options. Now, it's handy, but come on guys, this is not, that's not a multi-tool. You've got a knife that might cut your warm butter. I, I guess you have the bottle opener, okay. Screwdriver, a little bitty file, a pair of scissors, and a carabiner. It's good to have just clipped to your bag to hold other gear that's more important. Will this get you out of a bad situation? I'm not going to say it is. I'm not going to say it ain't. But I'm not gonna say it is. Make it, it. This was a promotional item given to someone, so we'll leave it at that. <clears throat> well, the next one. Boom. The Ozark Trail five dollar multi tool. I have a few of these because they're five dollars. Spring loaded needle nose. You got your. You know, you got your knife and your screwdriver and your file and your uh, another file and your serrated blade. A couple of little attachments. Five dollars. Let me tell you something from experience. This bad boy is uncomfortable to use when you're applying real pressure. If you've worked with multi tools, you know this. You got wire cutters, you got needle nose pliers. Uh, to me, these aren't meant for hard work. These are meant for a tackle box. These are great for a tackle box. An emergency situation, they're great for anything. But I, I keep this one in my, I actually got this out of my tackle box. But again, five bucks. Boom. No, it's not a rerun. This is the $10 Ozark Trail multi-tool plastic grips, locking pliers, spring loaded, fire cutters, needle nose, pliers. Uh, I'll put a link in the video to the video I done on these. And uh, you can make your own decision on these. And by the way, this saw, it really did work. Uh, knife blade, like they all have, well, as I mentioned in the video that I did on this, these blades don't lock, so be careful. But that's the $10 Ozark Trail multi-tool. Again, no heavy work. Great for a tackle box, a backpack, a fanny pack survival pack. There you go, guys. All right, this next one here is a made in Japan somewhere. I received this as a gift about 15 years ago and I still have this bad boy. Now it's not high dollar. It's stainless steel. 2CR stainless steel. And as you can see it, it don't even want to open. That's how long it's been since I've used this thing. So we're not even going to mess with it then. Uh, it's got your typical fish scale or knife blade 
all your other stuff. Now the difference between this one and the two Ozark Trail ones. Wish I could open it. The sheath pops open and you got all these attachments. You know, these bit attachments. That's just something that you can lose. Maybe keep one or two in there, but what I did with this one, I put some 22 shells in there and I keep this in my hunting bag so that I've got extra rounds for my 22 when I'm out small game squirrel hunting. Just an idea, guys. Like I said, I've had this bad boy for about 15 years and it stays in my hunting pack. Now this next one, I found. I was camping up in Osceola with a friend and found this on the trail. It's a Gerber. Nice. Uh, same as the rest of them. It's got your knife blade, your screwdriver, your bottle opener, you know, your basic, your basic little stuff. This one's a little more comfortable than the Ozark Trail, but still this is small work. I mean, look how small that is. This is very, very minute work, you ain't, no big jobs. It's got your wire cutters, your needle nose. This is probably another good one for your tackle box. And I have all kind of trouble with this. And it all locks away. I don't have a sheath for it because like I said, I found it just like this in the dirt. Now the next one is, compared to those, it's top of the line. It's a Leatherman, it's a rebar. It's not the top of the line Leatherman, but it's a Leatherman. This bad boy saved my ass in a tree stand one day. Nice sharp knife. Again, it's, it's all the same stuff. It's got all the same stuff. Needle nose, wire cutters, your basic, your basic Leatherman multi-tool. Ruler on the side, all that good stuff. Uh, I really like this, and like I said, this one, this one saved my butt. So this one goes with me on my side when I go camping. This is this is my go-to. Maybe. Last but not least is going to be the star of the show. Now, like I said, this is not top of the line Leatherman, even though it is a Leatherman, it's not the top of the line. This average is around 45 to 60 bucks, depending on where you buy it. And you know the Ozark Trails, five to ten dollars. I'm not sure about the Gerber. I think it runs about 25 to 30 bucks. Uh, made in China was probably ten dollars. Like I said, it was a gift. This next one here, I paid $27 for it on Amazon. I'll put a link. Uh, again, I'm not going to try to pronounce it, but there you go. Made in China says right on the back. This one is very unique. It's a seven tool. That's all it's got in it, seven tools. So the possibilities of this little guy are endless. I was really surprised. I, when I saw it, I was like, I gotta get one. Okay. Ballistic nylon sheath, standard. On the back, you got a belt loop, and then you also got a little pocket for those. Or take them out and put 22 shells, your choice. Again, this is unique. Look at that, guys. I tell you, this is really pretty cool. It's got a little locking lever right here. Move it to the side, which unlocks your pliers. They're not monsters. They are not monsters. But they're a set of pliers and a set of wire cutters. I thought that was pretty cool. The other end, you've got a crescent wrench. Let's see what we get out of that. You know, maybe, maybe half inch, up to a half inch. Let me tell you something. Have you ever tried wrenching down on a half inch wrench with a pair of needle nose? They hurt. That hurt. I thought that was pretty cool. We're not done. It's got a knife. It's sharp. It locks. It's got the little swing lock right here on the side. Boom. Remember the bits? Look at that. You got a flathead 
screwdriver, a little bitty. Is that a file? No, it's not a file. Put that bad boy down. Then you got a Phillips screwdriver. Is where your driver bit goes to where you can use your variety of bits. Now, uh, my opinion, take out and replace with what you would use the most. Or take them out altogether because they end up getting lost. But 22 shells will fit in here too. I'm just saying. This would be a great for a shooting bag, you know, to torque down on your scope and have some 22 shells. Got your belt clip or your nylon sheath, however you want to carry it. It's really up to you. Like I said, I paid $27 on Amazon. I'll drop a link in there. And I want to thank my son, Tyler, over there at My Sweet Addiction for recommending this. Uh, really like it. Not sure where I'm going to put it yet. I'm going to put it somewhere. Or I'll give it away. You never know. Because, as you can see, I got plenty. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hope it gave you some ideas. You know, that's what I'm here for. To give you ideas on different things that maybe you're new to this kind of stuff. I'm still learning a lot myself. But I'm just trying to help. That's all I'm trying to do, guys. I enjoy doing this. I enjoy doing it for you. I enjoy helping. I hope you liked it. Remember to like, subscribe, notification, thumbs up, download, share. Over on Facebook, check me out, The Sweet Outdoors. And a shout out to The Faithful. You guys are awesome. We're still climbing. Love it. I do have a challenge. Yeah, I have a challenge. And it's not a ridiculous million by New Year's Christmas challenge I gave y'all. I was just joking. Well, I was serious but I was joking 500 subscribers by Memorial Day weekend we can do this guys it's up to you I can't do nothing about it except continue to put out these quality videos for you in return you give me 500 subscribers by Memorial Day and we're having another good giveaway it's up to you guys enjoy be safe God bless Get outside. It's a beautiful day. Go. Why are you still there?